Before getting started with the technical content, we need to install the required tools we'll be using throughout this course. So in the first half of this video, I will show how to do this in Mac OS, and I'll have a timestamp for the Windows installation. So by the end of this video, what we want to be able to do is to open a terminal window, activate what is known as a virtual environment, which is where we're going to have all the packages we need installed, and then launch a Jupyter Notebook, which is where we're going to run all of our code. So this will launch in a web browser, and we'll be able to create a new notebook, and then import different things that we need to, let's say, for example, create a quantum circuit and draw it. The first step in this process is to install what is known as a virtual environment manager. This will allow us to create an isolated space where we can define a specific version of Python and then install the packages we need and all their dependencies. For this, we're going to use Miniconda, which is a light version of Anaconda. So that way we're not installing anything more than what we need to proceed. First, we just go to uh, any search engine and just search for Miniconda. And we go to the Anaconda official website. And here if we scroll down, we can see the different installers for all the different platforms. So for Mac OS, we can use the package version of it if we want a visual installer. So we can download that and open it. And then we can just follow the different steps during the installation. Alternatively, if you scroll down, there's also this quick command line install. And if we click here on Mac OS, what we can do is on a terminal, just copy and paste these commands and uh, it will install Miniconda. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and use this version of the installation. That way I don't have to go through all the steps in the GUI version of it. So to do that, I just go here to Spotlight and I, I can just type Terminal and that will open a, a new terminal window. And I'm just gonna paste those commands and this is going to install Miniconda on my home directory. Okay, so once that's done, there's one final step using this version of the installation and it's to run this command. So if you're in a relatively newer version of Mac OS, uh, you wanna use the C shell version of it. So you just copy this line of code, paste it on your terminal and execute that. And once that's done, we're gonna close the terminal and reopen it. Now, if you follow the GUI version of the installation, you will be at the exact same point we are right now. So we, we just need now to open a terminal and if you see here, before we didn't have this base at the beginning of our username. So if the installation worked correctly, you should see this base environment over here. So the next step is to create our virtual environment. For that, what we're going to do is write conda create minus n for name. And then we're gonna give that environment a name. So I'm gonna call this Kiskit env because we're gonna be using Kiskit throughout this course and env for environment. And then we need to type Python. And here we can specify the exact version of Python we wanna use. If you just type three, it will install the latest version of Python. So that's what we're gonna do here. So then we're gonna type Y to agree that we want to proceed with this installation of these packages. And once that's done, this is a very important step. We have to activate our environment. So we got to do conda activate env. And then once we do that, we can see that we went from the base environment into the environment we created. And we can see, for example, if we type Python version, we can see that it has installed in this particular case 3.125 which is at this point, the latest version of Python. All right, the next step is to install the packages we need to run Qiskit. So throughout this course, we're gonna use Jupyter Notebooks. That's where we're going to run and execute our code. So we're gonna type pip install notebook, and this will install Jupyter Notebooks. Okay, and once that installation is done, we're going to install Qiskit. So we do pip install Qiskit, visualization. 
So we want to type visualization here because it will install some additional dependencies that Qiskit needs to display certain things like graphs and circuits. Now you have to put this in between single quotation marks so that it installs accordingly. Now there are many other packages we're going to need throughout this course like NumPy and SymPy but those are dependencies that Qiskit needs. So Qiskit already installs all of those for us. So we're going to install two more packages that are related to Qiskit. One of them is Qiskit Air, which is an efficient simulator of quantum circuits. So again, we do pip install Qiskit-Air, and we're going to install the Qiskit IBM runtime which is a package that is going to allow us to interface with IBM's quantum processors. So we go pip install Qiskit IBM runtime. All right, and after that we're done. So to test if our installations are working correctly, what we type is Jupyter Notebook to launch a Jupyter Notebook. And from now on, every time we're going to work with code, this is the command you will need to run. And that will launch Jupyter Notebooks on our web browser. So we can go to a new folder. So maybe let's go here into my repos folder and I'm gonna create a new folder. Let's call it uh, quantum computing. And let's go in there and create a new notebook. And here we're gonna check this mark that says always start with a preferred kernel and select that. And we can change our theme, for example, to dark mode. And to test our, our installation work correctly, we're going to do from Qiskit import quantum circuit from Qiskit quantum info import state vector. And then we're going to create a quantum circuit let's say with two qubits. We're going to just add a few gates here and draw that circuit. And here we can see that everything imported correctly, the circuit was drawn, and then we can check if the state vector at the output of that circuit is correct. So we do state vector and then pass that circuit. And here we can see we get a state vector. Now to make sure that the correct visualization packages were installed, we pass to this draw method here, MPL, and that should draw a much nicer version of the circuit. So we get this warning message because it's the first time we've done this. And if we wanted to change the style, we could do style IQP dark, and then that draws the circuit in dark mode. And for state vectors, we can do here dot draw, and then LaTeX to see if we can display that correctly. And here we have it. So that shows that at least uh, Qiskit is installed correctly with all the visualization packages. So now we know we're ready to go. So in Windows, we follow a similar process. We just go and search for Miniconda, go to the official Miniconda website, then scroll down and find the Windows installer and download that. Once that's done, we're gonna open it and then just follow the, the steps in the installer. And here, I'm just gonna install it for my user. And here, something really important is to check this add Miniconda to my path environment variable, which is not checked by default. So we're gonna let that install, and once it's done, we're just gonna finish. So I'm gonna just not open this two things to show you how you access it. So you can go to here, the window start. And if you type in Anaconda, you're gonna see this Anaconda prompt. So this is going to be similar to a terminal in Linux or Mac OS. So once you open that here in this terminal, and then we can follow a similar procedure to what we did for the Mac OS installation. So the first step, is to create an environment. So here we can see that we have already this base environment. So we're gonna do conda create minus n for name. I'm gonna call it Qiskit env. We're gonna do Python 3. It's going to ask us if we want to 
install some packages. We're going to type Y for yes. And then the very, very important step of activating our environment. So we do conda activate kiskit env. And then we're going to pip install a notebook to install Jupyter notebooks. Then we're going to do pip install kiskit visualization and unlike in the mac os version we don't need to put this in single quotation marks and then the other two packages we need are kiskit air and the kiskit ibm runtime okay and then to test our environment we're going to do jupyter notebook Here we're going to create a new notebook and do from Kiskit import quantum circuit and then from Kiskit quantum info import state vector. So that imported correctly and then we create a quantum circuit with two qubits at some gates. And then let's draw it using the MPL method to see if it displays a nice circuit and it worked correctly. And then for state vector, we pass the circuit and then draw LaTeX. And that also worked fine. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope uh, this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.